the Across the Spider-Verse movie you saw might not be the same as the Across the Spider-Verse your neighbor Rondo saw. Now, we finally have an explanation. Across the Spider-Verse is a beautiful movie, and in other news, the grass is green. But something that caught the world's attention while it was in theaters was that there were different versions of the movie playing. Small changes here and there that didn't impact the main story, but enough to make people think, Wait, what? With dozens of these tiny additions, fans were confused. Now that Across the Spider-Verse is on digital, I can tell you for a fact that it's not the same movie you watched in theaters. Ex-user Chris Ag writes, put together a helpful thread of what changed. For example, Prowler Miles has extended braids and more facial outlines in the digital cut. When Miguel is on top of Miles, there's a line that's completely gone from digital. Miscellaneous text boxes are removed. One comment on the Spider-Man apology video gives us a new username and text. I can keep going here, but you get the idea. After months of speculation, Phil Lord and Chris Miller finally revealed what really happened here. There was an international version that was made almost two months before the movie came out because it had to be translated into different languages and these French censors have to decide what the rating of the movie is in Europe. Miller says, The team at Sony Pictures Imageworks still had some shots that they felt they could do better for the finished version, so they cleaned up and tweaked those things. Miller also reveals that crew members chipped in with additional things to help make a final cut that people will pour over forever. Certain crew members, people in the sound department or on the animation team, were like, Oh, could we do this instead? Miller explains, Let's do the best possible version we can. Because it's a multiverse movie, it's like there's a multiverse of the movie. That was really the reasoning behind it. It was trying to make the best possible version that everyone was going to be the proudest of. Lord added, I think most of the changes are improvements. So there you go. There's your answer. But it also has fans feeling conflicted with the digital release being slightly different than the one you watched this means that the original theatrical versions might become lost media the exact group of scenes dialogue and edit of the movie you saw is something you might never see again even if the digital copy is what the crew considers the, the ideal final cut it also might have some changes you don't agree with in that case sorry you're out of luck i do think the con concept of having multiple versions for a multiverse movie is really cool, but you know what would be even cooler? If there was like a bonus features thing where you got to see every iteration of the movie, please make it happen. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think.